Got the deed? Yep. There it is. Ah, oh, you're about in this one. I don't know what to All right. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah.
John. Marshal. Gentlemen. <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales pattern, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can Keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap! <laughs> This way, come on! I'll rip you up. Get them, John! Oh, oh,
dang pig. Them cock-sucking some bitches escaped the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hell no. That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! General Adam let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Men, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! What Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> That's bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa! Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with a love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. Them bastards and gap tooth breeds got my friend, Floyd. Please, mister, you gotta help him. I'm in a bad way. I gotta get to a doctor. We was in the rail house when they jumped us. Maybe he's still around there. I'll make it worth your while. I'm truly indebted to you, partner, but don't you worry, because I've got a way to repay that debt. Sons of bitches are hiding treasure in those caves. My friend and I was about to swipe it when they got me. Don't know where he got to. 
Anyways, if you get us to the mouth of the cave, I can show you where it is on your map. Hello to you, too. Come on, move! Good work, partner. All right, so here's where the treasure's at. You get me there and you get your share. You have my word. You want to try that again? Where do you want me to get you? Headshot the quickest. Boy, you ever shoot it out with a hard This is what you called out numbers. We got us another this way. I ain't gonna go easy on you. Best say your prayers. I would prefer more. This lead based method may suffice. Closer. Just keep heading for that spot I marked on your map. One measly chest? Well, it's all yours, partner, for your troubles. I'm a man of my word.
Jimmy, <laughs> I didn't know you were a miner. I'm not, sport. This is the first time that I've ever been underground. But I like getting a preview of being buried. It should be fun, but not funny, what? Your eastern wit is wasted on my dumb western brain, sport. Oh, don't worry, you're not missing much. I'm beginning to think that this article will be better written on a tropical island in the arms of a beautiful maiden. Interesting idea. Now, can we get out of here? Yes, please. Leave it to me now, sport. I have more adventure and hijinks. This ain't nice. I know. There, lady. Pardon me, sir. Shy big man. Spend some time with me.
Let's go! Him off. I sure could use some help, partner. Name's Errol Hewitt. The damn Bollard gang's stolen my family's herd. I gotta get them back. They're all I got. Let's see what you got. What in God's name? Sorry about this, partner. Follow you out with the herd. Let's go. Mighty generous of you, mister.
<laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man, William, so no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? You know me. Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes. We men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action at Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tents, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with them. 
At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, we're here now. Jesus, they're shooting at us! There's too many of them. Cut the rope. We'll drift down the river. Bloody Nara! I guess I got up to more business than I remember on me last visit to Mexico. We'll ride the river out. No point trying to land oh. till we're well away from these bastards. I'd give up now if I was you! Reload from that box at the back if you need to. Well, I'd be bugger backwards. Oh my god, Are you supposed to be elbows? I simply can't afford to call you, daughter. Exactly the reception I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. You got it all wrong, it's okay. What the hell did you do to these fellas? I recall it was something to do with money and possibly some misunderstanding about a fellow's daughter, but the details escaped. You must be thinking of another Irish fellow! Your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, their big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that polka? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellers trying to kill you. Damn murder, sons of bitches! By that rock! Get the hell away! Well, I ain't fucking Just bastard. walk away! I haven't stepped foot in this country and they're already trying to kill me. 
Well, you will insist on fraternizing with a notorious Irish outlaw. Ain't you got some peckers to be sucking? Shooting down on us! Oh, Sakes alive! Who's behind that rock? times. Irish. I told you they knew me in Mexico, didn't I? Kill these unfaithful bastards! The bad killer! They're on top of the cliff! Boy, I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. I see that. The current should put us ashore up ahead. Heads up! There's two more! 
I'd give up now if I was you. We made it, thank the Lord. Am I glad to be getting off that coach of death? Oh, these horses look fresher. <laughs> Whoop! And healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy. Uh, Saw him shoot a man, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Or was it Four Card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. The famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a feck ugly man, but not a bad one.